Hi there, in today's video we're going to talk about the airplane lights that are not required for navigation purposes. We are, I made a separate video where I talked about the navigation lights and the anti-collision lights, but in today's video we're going to look at the external lights on an airplane that are not required for navigation. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Gabriel from PilotClimb.com. I'm a training captain on the Boeing 737 and I help you to become a better pilot. Consider subscribing to the channel because I'm making lots of new content every week, so if you subscribe you will not miss the next video. Okay, let's talk about these additional lights that we've got on board of the jet commercial aircrafts. In the previous videos I talked about the uh, lights that we need for navigation, such as the navigation or positioning lights and the anti-collision lights. However, the jet commercial aircraft, they have additional lights that are there to help them pilots and the engineering to make inspections okay one of these uh, these light in the case of the Boeing 737 is the wheel well light the wheel well light when you switch it on is gonna uh, switch on the lights in the wheel well compartment okay in the wheel well compartment is the compartment where the wheels of the landing gear retract when you retract the landing gear okay so in that compartment we've got for example in the case of the Boeing 737 the hydraulic systems and some uh, many other cables okay what you do when you do the workaround, you switch on the wheel well, and then in there you check if there is any, for example, oil leak, of the, there is, if there is anything that is not in the proper position, okay? As well as on the nose wheel, okay? In the nose wheel, there is a compartment there. If you switch on the wheel well, there will be a light uh, on in there as well, and you can go there to check if there is any problem. Okay, another light that we use to inspect the, the wings of the plane is the wing light in the case of the Boeing 77. If you switch on the wing light, you're gonna have the leading edge of the wings illuminated. In that case, we normally, I don't use that light that much. However, you can use that if you are encountering ice, for example. By switch on that light and looking from the windows, from the side windows of the pilot, you can see a portion of the wing, okay? You can see if there is any ice accretion in that part of the wing. Okay, another light that we've got on board, okay, is the logo light. The logo light is installed in the horizontal stabilized, and what it does is actually illuminate the rudder. And as you know, on the rudder of the plane, we've got the logo of the airline, and that's why it's called logo light, because that light illuminates the logo of the plane. We use the logo light at night time when we fly at low altitude, okay? We use it at low altitude for many two reasons. The first one is because when you fly at high altitude, it's very difficult to spot the airline logo uh, of an, uh, out of an airplane because at high altitude we fly very fast and the separations are bigger, okay? On top of that, if you switch on the light at high altitude when the temperature is very low, you might have a thermic shock on the bulb, so you don't want that, okay? So, but when you're a below 10,000 feet, you're at night time, normally we switch on this logo light and the lights out of the horizontal stabilizer will illuminate the airline logo, okay? It's something that is there to increase the visibility of the plane and to do some, uh, to show the airline logo to the other passengers and the people around, especially on the ground, okay? So, these are three, uh, type of lights that we've got on board, okay? On top of that, we've got the emergency lights, but these emergency lights are internal and external of the plane. I will make a separate video when we talk about the emergency lights. I hope you enjoyed this video about the lights that are not required for navigation purposes, but are in there to help us to uh, do inspection and to show, uh, to increase the visibility of the plane. If you have any question, leave a comment below and I will help you out. Also go to pilotclimb.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content. I wish you a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.